So uh, now let's just take a look at some of these semantic HTML elements and um, see how they're defined. So header, right? Let's go to MDN header. And then we'll go take a look at MDN footer. And uh, we'll take a look at those. So header represents introductory content, typically a group of introductory navigational aids. It may contain some heading elements, but also other elements like a logo, search form, an author name, and so on. So it's introductory Attention. content. The fire alarm at the gym is a false alarm. Repeating, the fire alarm at the gym is a false alarm. And I don't know why, but I just had like a little moment that they were going to say active shooter, right? Like, did you, anybody else have that? <laughs> you too? That's why I want to move to Canada. You know, I mean, it's like, are you kidding me? Like, what? Yeah, anyhow, we go down that rabbit hole. What do we do? Lock the door. I had that with him. And my friend asked me, what would you do at a fair? And I didn't tell him the truth. If aliens came, they're already here. How do you know I'm not one? I think maybe you're one too. What do you do? So here we have a header element, content category. And we can see that the content category is flow content and it's also palpable content. And uh, that's kind of interesting. So we could click on that and go and look at the content categories. And it's flow, everything's flow, but what's palpable? I don't even see palpable there. I'm going to search for palpable. Uh, content is palpable when it's neither empty or hidden. It is content that is rendered and is substantive. Elements whose model is flow content or phrasing content should have at least one node which is palpable. Right, so it's not hidden or empty. So something's got to be there. Permitted content, content that you could put inside of a header. You could put flow content inside of a header, but with no header or footer descendant. So you can't put uh, a header or footer inside of a header, right? That's what that's saying. That's how you read that. That's what's permitted in there. And if we look at footer, uh, sectioning content or sectioning root element, a footer typically contains information about the author of the section, copyright data, or links to related documents. So author, copyright data, links to related documents. And uh, you can put into a footer uh, flow content, but with no footer or header. So you can't put a footer or a header in, in a footer, but you can put any other flow content. And permitted parents, any element that accepts flow content. Note that a footer element must not be a descendant of an address, header, or another footer element. That's how you read those things, right? Like what, who can use this element? Can I nest it under? And so if I ever saw you do this, Right, footer, section, header, footer. I would say that's wrong. My editor doesn't pick it up, as I can see. But that's where it becomes like, you know, unclear, and you start doing research. Let's look at nav. Uh, represents a section of page whose purpose is to provide navigation links either within the current document or to other documents. Common examples of navigation sections are menus, tables of contents, and indexes. So uh, it's not just for any old link on the page, but it's the primary navigation on the page. It's not necessary for all links to be contained in nav. Nav is intended for major block of navigation links. Typically, the footer element often has a list of links that do not need to be in a nav element. So you don't in the footer, you don't need to put them in nav. The document may have several nav elements. Uh, user agents, such as screen readers, can use this element to determine whether to omit the initial rendering of navigation-only content. All right, and so I've listed all this out here. We've got header, introductory content, navigational aids, 
section with navigation links intended for major block of navigations. Um, main, right? Main content of the body of a document should be unique to the document, but not, must not be a descendant of article, aside, footer, header, or nav. So you can't have main in header or footer, article, or aside, but you could have it in section. That's kind of interesting. And here's an MDM example. Example, main. There we go, right? And it's got a heading, and then there's an article in there and another article in there. So it takes any flow content, and the parent flow content is expected, but only if it is a hierarchically correct main element. So you want to look at like this first description, you want to look at this, and there's attributes, if they have attributes, and usage notes. The content of main element should be unique to the document. Content that is repeated across a set of documents or document sections such as sidebars, navigation links, copyright, and site, da, 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 uh, should not be included unless the search form is the main function of the page. So it's the main thing you do with the page. Main doesn't contribute to the document's outline. That is, unlike elements such as body, headings such as H2, and such, main doesn't affect the DOM's concept of the structure of the page. It's strictly informative. Then we have article and section. And uh, both article and section typically include a heading, H1 and H6. An article is self-contained, independently distributable and reusable. And a section is a thematic grouping of content. Right, so in my travel article, traveling to Africa, I had different sections, Nigeria, Nairobi, Mozambique, right? And those are kind of a thematic grouping by country, right? Of countries within the region of Africa, which the whole article is about. Or you can look at it the reverse way and say the section is the weekend section and it has all these articles. So they kind of go back and forth. And then in a side, Sidebars, inserts, advertisements, biography of the author, related links, content related to something, and then footer, and uh, some HTML examples, semantic HTML examples, and we have some, some examples there in our code. We'll look at those maybe in the next video. And then headings, just go look at those now in the next video.